So you have a problem with the Sandisk Cruiser uh, USB stick, uh, something we can maybe try and help you with. Uh, we received this thing for recovery the other day and uh, just wanted to go over a couple of things that we always try and do uh, when new cases come in like that. So this is a Sandisk and uh, they use quite uh, complicated algorithms uh, if we were going to go uh, and recover data directly off the chip so we'll try everything else first before we actually start to get into that now uh, in here what we see is um, our little printed circuit board so first thing that I want you guys to check out uh, would be these pins here okay so uh, I have a microscope for that you can either use magnifying glass or something similar to it uh, just get in there close and see if all of the tracks are actually in place if the soldering points are okay and not broken and uh, just generally check out if there's anything wrong maybe with the input uh, okay so that would be the first thing to look so we're just gonna zoom in on that in our microscope so if we were to look in the microscope view this is what we would see this is the close-up on all of our connections i can see that this one right there is most likely pulled off its pad so we're gonna keep moving this is the second leg we can see that it's also been lifted so the track could have uh, some problems uh, by being disconnected third is also lifted so if there are any uh, via points, uh, they are not attached anymore. And uh, this one also lifted not all the way, but best thing for something like this would be to actually, uh, in this stage, just remove the connector and manually reattach all of the pins uh, for, the, for this connector to um, their proper position so trace them and uh, get them reattached by soldering on a piece of wire to it so the next thing we're gonna do is uh, on our controller board we're gonna clean up all of the tracks that lead to the positions where the USB port mounts okay so you can see there are four original positions two are missing completely and two we had to kind of make sure that they are still attached so after we did that um, those two are that are still existing uh, those pads that are still existing we can um, carry on and use it with using them uh, but the first two they were broken loose and that's what probably uh, caused the card not to recognize so we removed them completely cleaned up the parts uh, that were attached to them and uh, now we're just gonna solder indiv individual pieces of wire directly to uh, the positions where those, those pads were supposed to lead so in our case it's gonna be uh, this little piece right here and this little piece right there and for uh, the ground we're just gonna use this uh, via hole we're just gonna stick a wire right in there and solder it in and then we're just gonna need to reconnect uh, those uh, pieces of wire to the proper prongs on uh, on the connector, and that should do it. So this is it, guys. This is what we ended up with. Uh, it doesn't look like the prettiest thing in the world, but all of the pins are uh, reattached. I just put some masking tape over it. We only need this thing to be working for probably no more than two minutes. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop this in into our uh, USB. This is the only one that I got left that is available. Okay. So there it is. The light is flashing. That means that means that our card is working. So let's just see if we can find this stuff on the screen. So there is our drive. Four and they're not files. Yay! So 
this just shows how easy it can be sometimes with a little bit of uh, soldering skills to recover data from um, a failed USB stick. If you guys are not familiar with um, soldering at all, we uh, can provide this service for you. Um, please inquire about it at uh, the email that you see at the bottom of the, of the screen. Subscribe to our channel, we, qu we have several videos on there. Uh, that we've been posting up uh, recently so maybe some of that information you will be able to find useful thanks again and uh, we are coming back next week